High-level darts players can often keep this up for years, but there are also players who can only play at a high level for a few months. Today, we reveal which players have worked themselves into a downfall. Glenn Durant, a well-known name in the world of darts, emerged with a strong desire to create a lasting legacy. Before 2019, he had already made his mark in darts history by participating in several PDC events. His journey began with the now-closed BDO, where he showcased his darting skills in important tournaments. Let's go back to 2015, the year he made a name for himself in the BDO dart scene. Durant won his first two major tournaments that were broadcast casted on TV, the World Masters and Finder Masters. This showed that he was a force to be reckoned with and he didn't stop there. He won those titles again the next year, proving he was among the best in the darting world. In 2017, he won an important BDO tournament, the Lakeside World Championship, defeating Danny Noppert. In 2018, Durant had a remarkable year. He reached the final of every major event and won three trophies, including his second world title. He secured this title with a close victory against Mark McGinney. As the darting community buzzed with excitement, Durant made a big decision. Before the 2019 BDO World Championship, he announced that he would be moving to the PDC. He won his third BDO World title before this transition, defeating Scott Waits in an exciting final. He participated in the PDC qualifying school in Wigan. The competition was tough and victory wasn't guaranteed. He started strong with two whitewash wins, showing his determination. However, he faced a setback when he lost a crucial match against Darren Heroini. Undeterred, he kept going. His journey through Q school showed his determination with some tough losses, but destiny smiled on him at the third event. He faced challenges and reached the semi-finals and aimed for victory where he played a crucial match against Reese Robinson for a tour card, but lost 5-2. He barely made it to the tour card spot at 11th on the Order for Merit. On the final day, he needed to win in the semi-finals or do well in the Order of Merit to get the spot in the tour card. Durant showed his determination. He played well, dropping just one leg in the early rounds. He had a thrilling match against Matthew Dennant, Things were tense as he played, but he fought back and won in a sudden death leg, getting the tour card against all odds. The PDC welcomed him warmly, and he quickly made an impact. In his first Players' Championship weekend, he reached the Pro Tour Final, and won his first PDC title the next weekend. It was a big achievement, but that was just the start. In March of the same year, Durant surprised many by leaving his 30-year career in housing for darts. This decision tested his dedication to the game. His time in the PDC had great moments. By May of that year, he won his second PDC title, showing his skills were growing. But the highlight of the year was at the World Match Play. He amazed everyone by beating Adrian Lewis, Michael Van Gerwen, and James Wade. He then lost to Michael Smith in the semi-finals. This performance was a big deal in the world of darts. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. His success kept growing. He did well in important competitions like the Grand Prix and Grand Slam, reaching the semi-finals in the same year. He also played for the first time at Ali Pali, where he got to the quarterfinals but lost to Gerwin Price. His quick rise was highlighted by joining the Premier League, which was well deserved. He tried out the Premier League in 2019. The 2020 season started strong, with only one loss in his first six matches. But then the COVID-19 pandemic caused a big problem. The darting world stopped for about four months. When the PDC tour started again, Durant was back. He did really well, reaching the quarterfinals in the first summer event. He also got to the semi-finals in the world match play, showing he's consistent at high levels. And then came the big moment. The Premier League happened without fans, and Durant's performances were amazing. He showed how strong he was by being at the top of the league, a feat only legends Phil Taylor and Michael Van Gerwen had achieved at that time. In the playoffs, he showed his strong spirit by winning a tough match against Gary Anderson in the semi-final. In the final, he he beat Nathan Aspinall and won his first major title. However, just a few weeks later, Durant got COVID-19 and tested positive. He fought the virus and got really sick for weeks. He even hurt his rib from severe coughing. When he came back to play, he had a lot of bad luck and his performance got worse. This marked the start of his downfall. He faced a series of early exits in tournaments that raised concerns about his performance. He openly shared his struggles on social media, admitting to a difficult week in his darts career. He was honest about his lack of confidence going into the Grand Slam, and unfortunately, his performance matched his expectations. He finished last in the group, losing all matches with an average below 90. There was a small ray of hope when Durant improved his score to 95 on average, but this improvement was short-lived. He suffered a quick defeat to Wayne Jones in the Players' Championship Finals. In the World Championship, he fought bravely and won against Diogo Portela and Daniel Bagas. 
Fish, only to lose to Dirk van Dwevenbode in a close match. His disappointment reached its peak in the Premier League. Despite being the defending champion, Durant experienced a shocking decline. He lost all nine matches of his league phase games, with average consistently below 90, which was a stark contrast to his previous success. He ended up at the bottom, making history as the first Premier League player with zero points. The once successful champion was now struggling. This marked the beginning of a long losing streak of 17 matches. The streak finally ended in the 19th Players' Championship event when he won against Joe Cullen. During this tough period, Durant acknowledged issues with his throwing technique. He mentioned overthinking, pulling his arm back too far, and feeling panicked too often. These were the very techniques that used to bring him success but they were now failing due to his self-doubt. Even during his challenges, Durant's determination to improve his game stayed strong. However, this pursuit for getting better often felt difficult. At the World Match Play, a stage where he had done well before, he lost in the first round, with his average dropping to 84, while his opponent had an average of 82. But the lowest point of his journey was still to come. The Grand Prix saw Durant's most disappointing moment, with a very low average score of 58, in a 2-0 loss to Jose de Souza. This was the peak of his downfall, a performance that even he, a man deeply involved in his own struggles, found unacceptable. The continuous string of losses put Durant in a 19-match losing streak, a difficult time that lasted for 268 days. The impact of this struggle went beyond just the numbers. It deeply affected his state of mind. There was a moment that showed his despair when he left a pro tour event early, realizing that his 70 averages weren't enough. And then, something unexpected. He left a match early when he was losing 4-2, a decision that highlighted how frustrated he was. The desperation of a situation was best shown when he made a decision he later regretted, leaving a match early, showing his frustration in the 4-2 scoreline against him. Durant himself admitted that this was one of his biggest mistakes, recognizing the foolishness of his actions when he was feeling disheartened. The downward spiral continued as Durant's games seemed to get worse. In a clear difference from his past successes, he lost 3-0 in the first first round of the World Championship, only winning one leg and his average score was at 80. During a long and tough period, a ray of hope appeared in April 2022. Durant won against Tony Martinez and Dimitri van den Berg at a Players' Championship event. Sadly, this comeback was short-lived, as the victory against Dimitri became his final win in the PDC. His performances declined, and he struggled to achieve an average score of 86. His PDC journey came to an end in a match against Jamie Clark during the World Championship qualifier for tour card holders. This match marks not only the end of a game, but also also the end of his status as a professional darts player. It was difficult, but Durant had to leave the association that had once supported his success. However, Durant didn't disappear from the scene. The day after his final game, news spread that he had accepted an invitation to the World Seniors Championship. He remained determined despite challenges. He also found comfort in the commentary box, joining the Moda Super Series commentary team. The shift from player to commentator showcased his adaptability and his enduring passion for the sport. Moreover, he became a coach, sharing his insights with aspiring players. This allowed him to stay connected to the sport he loved while passing on his knowledge. His debut in the World Seniors Championship was another step in his evolving journey. Although the results weren't what he hoped for, with a 3-0 loss and a modest 77 average, the fact that he continued to compete in the face of challenges spoke volumes about his character. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. See you next time.